Football Fusion Super Bowl. Could you imagine what this episode would have been like if the Bills made the Super Bowl? I can't. Oh, football. You know, I dedicated so much time to that team this year. And what happened, you know? What happened? This is an important one because a lot of people who don't like football will be at your house for this, you know? This is a snack day, more so than anything else. Who cares what teams are in? Who cares who wins? Who cares about football and fandom and you, whether your team will ever win a Super Bowl before you die, you know? Who cares about all that stuff? Who cares about the generations of people you've watched die who have never gotten to see your team win a Super Bowl? I don't care about that stuff. It's just fun to watch a game, you know? It's fun to watch a game, like doing a puzzle. I don't care about who wins or loses the game. I never did. I just wanna have fun with my friends, you know? It's just something to do with your friends. And that's what this cooking show's about, eating with your friends. Football Fusion isn't about football or who wins or loses the games. I don't care about that. I don't care, I don't care. I don't care who wins or loses the football game. No, the Super Bowl is an American pastime where we all get together and we don't care who wins or loses. We just want to be friends, you know? <laughs> Football Fusion, the Super Bowl. We're elated. It's the Super Bowl. The teams in the Super Bowl are the Kansas City Chiefs and the Philadelphia Eagles. You remember Mina Kimes told us the Eagles were for real. We already did Philadelphia. So we're not doing cheesesteaks again. And we already did like a barbecue type of place when we did that, remember? So we're not gonna do Kansas City barbecue, okay? What we're gonna do instead is soft pretzels. Philadelphia is known for their soft pretzels. You ever been to Philadelphia for a 10th of a second? You're like, oh, the Liberty Bell pretzels. And then Kansas City, who, who can choose? You know, oh, there's so many options. Soft pretzels from Philadelphia, and then like a cheese corn casserole from Kansas City. It's a perfect mixture. You know, you dip the pretzel in the cheese corn. It's gonna be good. And you're gonna have a lot of people over who don't watch football today or whatever, the Super Bowl. I'm not gonna watch it. I think this one's gonna be good. I think it's gonna taste good. It's a perfect game day snack and it's a perfect homage to two of America's finest communities. Mm. It's two tones, I swear, there's two tones happening in there. You hear that? There's two. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, yeah. Pretzels are made of dough. And to make this dough, I'm combining all-purpose flour, bread flour, kosher salt, instant dry yeast, and light brown sugar. How much of all those things is in the description below? I'm mixing all these dusts and powders and then adding whole milk and melted butter. I'm making this stand mixer into a pirate by adding a hook attachment and letting this bad boy go to work. Every once in a while, you gotta clean the hook, making sure the dough is being mixed equally. We did this for a while. It took about eight minutes, just let that thing get beat. Check it every once in a while. Make sure it's still doing its thing. Don't let it get all on one side. Just let it ride. Andy taught me a cool trick to see if the dough's gluten is fully developed. The window pane test, as it was taught to me. You tear a little piece of dough ball, stretch it, and if it doesn't tear and you can see through it like a window, it's ready. Ours was not ready, so we patiently waited. All right, at long last, our dough ball is ready to become a pretzel. Many little pretzels. This baking stuff is easy. Ah! <laughs> wow. Are you okay? Did that pinch your fingers? Almost. Whew. Of course, this is all planned and choreographed. The webbings of my hand were never in any real danger. This is an entertainment program and we are actors. Now that the dough is ready, we're caressing it ever so, pulling and prodding to create this perfect little ball that reminded me of my son's head. It will rest and rise at room temperature for about an hour. Did you mention that we're filming during an auspicious time? 400 people away from 10 million subscribers. Perfect. Just like we, we nailed it. Yeah, yeah. Just, we, we just, just like we practiced. Finally. While our dough grows in its greasy glass prison, it's time to make this crazy alkali solution. I'm putting a quarter cup of baking soda in this hot water until it dissolves. We're going to dip our pretzels in this later because somehow it helps with the browning and the flavor and the pretzeling of it all. Now let's go check on the dough. 
Here's the football. Here's the pretzels. Bigger now. It's so much bigger now. We're gonna divide this into eight equal pieces, which means we need to use, mm. as the Italians call, escale. This little Ooh. lube, little scale lube. Whoa. Oh, it's so <laughs> light. Okay. Yeah. Like Drop so? it. Yep. Ooh, it's heavy. <laughs> hey Siri, what's 647 divided by eight? So 80 gram pieces. And if you overshoot wow. it, you can always just tack a little piece wow. off. Damn, right there. <laughs> <laughs> What was it? Oh, 80. 80. <laughs> we had champagne at lunch, okay? Yeah, yeah I'm drunk. <laughs> I'm drunk, I'm drunk, I'm drunk, I'm drunk. We had 10 million subscribers. We're not just drinking at lunch for no reason. We have a very good reason. We have a very good reason to be drunk. All right. We have eight pieces of relatively equal weight and size. We're drunk. You wanna try to make a pretzel? We promised ourselves. All right, let's cover the rest of these because they're gonna dry out. So let's put them in a general area, like off camera, generally. I mean, so far you're off to a great start. It's, uh, don't. Sorry I said so far. Sorry I qualified You're it. not right though. Look. Yeah, no, do, Look at yours. So in the center when it gets thick, it feels scary to like stretch it out because you're worried it's going to break. Yeah. Get, get your hands right together in the middle, Ooh. stretch and roll. Whoa. And then you got a little extra in there. Yeah. I don't know if we've made a point of Sawyer's <laughs> double jointedness yet on this show, <laughs> but it what bears it bears mentioning. <laughs> Medically diagnosed double jointed. <laughs> the doctor once said, What's well, you're double jointed. I was like. What? You do, you do, you do two <laughs> twists. You do two twists. Is that one too many? Just one twist. You just do one twist. Wait, wait. Oh, I got it. I don't know why I'm doing the, the you want show to. off. Yeah, you want to. Show off. And then, oh. oh. You flip it over and then you forever merge these together in holy matrimony of pretzel, Damn. whatever. And that is a Dutch Amish country. Like that? Uh, yeah, so here, I'm gonna give you a little, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give you a little tug. I'm gonna give you a rope, a little tug. So you want this to be mostly this loop. So try doing this again, but with this twist, all Lower. the way down here. Got it. All right, I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, you know, f the air, f that, thing. F that, f stupid, that, bullshit. All right, so now, <laughs> the twist, there's the twist. Oh! And now, just, yeah, yeah. hold it over. Wabash. Wabash. <laughs> and that's pretzels and episodes Great. done. And Great. we yeah. uh, squeeze them in there a little. Squeeze them in there. You, you want to fuse those down really. Make it into a, as pretzel as possible. As pretzel as possible. That's pretzel something. as possible. Is there something in there? As pretzel as possible. Next up. Next up. Nugs. Nubs. Now, Kendall said make this an inch wide. And I don't believe her as far as I can throw her. So I think more like a half inch. So what I'm going to do. What do you think of that? That looks right. That looks good to me. Oh, I made these inconsistently <laughs> sized. Maybe make yours longer than mine. Uh, <laughs> Maybe yeah. these nug sizes are better. Let's let's go for more gnocchi. Like these are these are perfect. We got a base solution that you prepared earlier, and now we're gonna dip these in yeah, there. Yeah, it has to sit in there for a little bit. Oh, like all right. Thirty seconds. Okay. <laughs> so now we let them sit for thirty minutes, uh, thirty seconds. Um, during which time we can talk about uh, not sports, obviously. No. Well, all right, I'm gonna wash all this acid off my hands, or opposite of acid base. How's my perfect pretzel? Is it perfect? It's perfect. All right, that works out. All right, I'll do that too. Um, yeah, because we gotta be sparing with the salt. We don't no. want it to stick to our fingers. It's <laughs> getting every. <laughs> all right, dry. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, wash your hands. Wash your hands. You have base. He has base all over his hands. I thought that was with Joe. No, it's bad for you. It will actually kill you. It's like I'm in a fancy restaurant. Fancy pretzel restaurant. Yeah, yeah. Babish's sit-down pretzel <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> hey, should we do a couple of these everything bagel? Ooh. Ooh. All right, why don't you hit those last, last few with the everything seasoning. Okay. Into the oven, what temperature? 400 with convection. Now for the Kansas City cheesy corn dip, which was good, very good. Recommend it. To start, dice and cook about eight ounces of bacon in a skillet. I'm putting the bacon to the side and saving about a tablespoon of the grease for the garlic. Cook that greasy, greasy garlic for about a minute and then add eight ounces of whole milk. Once that milk starts simmering, I'm adding eight ounces of cream cheese, ooh, splosh, as well as one pound of frozen corn. We could have microwaved the corn before adding it, which would have gotten rid of some of the water, I think, but 
Who cares? You mush it together and add some salt and pepper and let it heat until the cream cheese has melted. Hopefully you didn't eat all that bacon from earlier because now it goes back in. Then add the American cheese. The American cheese, I'm told, can really take a beating and won't separate, whatever that means. So you beat that stuff up, get it all nice and melty, then add the cheddar after, and then add more of both. Just keep adding cheese. Keep adding cheese to this. That's the trick. Pour this out and then put some cheese on top. This will bake really nicely on top to create a cheese hat, creme brulee style. You know what I mean? Broil in the oven for about five minutes or until the cheese on top is melted and lightly browned. And now it's time to eat. All right. Wow, dude. I didn't touch this. I can take a little credit because we rolled these together, but you, this is all you. It looks gorgeous. That looks really, really very good. That and these look, look fantastic. Nice. This looks game day ready. This is gonna be extremely hot. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's correct. Oh. Okay. Yeah, buddy. This is gonna hurt. Oh. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> awesome. Mmm. <laughs> it's so good. I could eat that all day. That works. Mm. And if you even feel like making the pretzel bites, you buy them. Buy them from the store. This is fantastic. This is a triumph. This is the best thing to come out of Philadelphia and Kansas City in five years. Not bad. You know, I don't know who's who's who's. That's how good we did it together. Yeah. Now, if that isn't a lesson, at the end of the day, who knows? That was worse. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 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 this is an incredible way to wrap up the season. This is an incredible Super Bowl snack. I hope everybody makes this. I hope everybody tries it. I'm gonna try one with the everything on it. That's, oh, that's the everything. Really nice. yeah, yeah. Little New York twist. Mm. Just for us. New York, KC, Philadelphia. Dude. Mm. It's killer. It's killer. That's a wrap. Happy hey. Fusion. Thank you, everyone. Season one, dude. Season one. Congrats.